Gas. Gas is the central antagonist of the Granola the Survivor Saga of the 2015 Japanese martial arts fantasy manga series Dragon Ball Super. He belonged to the Heaters, a family of intel brokers who sought to one day usurp control of the galactic Frisia army from Emperor Frisia and use it to rule the universe. Gas, as the strongest member of his family, acted as the chief enforcer for his elder brother LX plans and served as his right-hand man. Gas is part of the Heater family. A fighting prodigy, he serves as the family's muscle and is the central antagonist of the Granola the Survivor Saga. Appearance Like his siblings, Gas belonged to an unidentified humanoid alien race characterized by turquoise skin, pointed ears, dark cyan marks under the eyes, and light purple hair. Unlike his other siblings, Gas didn't have eyebrows or a nose, although he still had nostrils to breathe through. He was shorter than the rest of his siblings and possessed a muscular yet slender build. After having his potential unlocked by Elec, Gas grew in height to the point that he was the tallest member of his family. Gas wore a white full bodysuit, dark blue boots with golden buckles and white soles, a red coat with golden lining and the heater force insignia over the chest area, and a headband decorated with some kind of bones. Gas's clothing bore aesthetic similarities to that of his siblings. Personality Gas is a quiet individual who lets his actions speak louder than his words. Focused and extremely loyal to his family, Gas is usually the first one to jump in to defend them at the first sight of danger, especially his brother Elec, whom he follows and obeys without question. His loyalty to his family was strong enough that not even Goku's attempt at talking him out of his actions as well as citing past experience regarding brothers deterred him from attempting to conquer the universe for Elec, which eventually left Gas shocked at Elec revealing his true nature and calling him worthless scum, however regardless he still remained loyal to his brother, immediately trying to achieve his goal of eliminating Frieza when the tyrant made his appearance. Unlike previous foes in the series, Gas takes a very serious and pragmatic approach to fighting his enemies, usually trying to eliminate the threats as quickly as possible. With that being said, Gas is a very prideful individual. Due to his prodigious strength, he likes to fight enemies when he wants and on his own terms. This was first seen by his displeasure of Granola working for the Heaters as a bounty hunter, as Gas believed he already provided enough value as the family's muscle. He was also displeased when Elec barred him from fighting Granola the first time. He was also less than enthused at the prospect of using the Dragon Balls to artificially boost his strength, as he believed he had more than enough power already and was initially very reluctant to use his newly gained powers, although he would ultimately come around. In spite of all this, one of Gas' major character flaws stems from his loss against the Scion Bardock during the invasion of Planet Serial 40 years prior. Despite the fact that the Heater far outclassed the Scion, Gas was defeated. This loss seemed to have mentally impacted Gas, who has held a grudge since then, causing him to obsessively train and refine his abilities to avoid the same situation. While in his berserk form, during a short scuffle with Goku, he had a flashback of the moment of his defeat at the hands of Bardock, which caused him to recoil in fear. However, with some encouragement from Elec, Gas was seemingly able to overcome this trauma to some degree. Likewise, despite his hatred for Bardock, he seems to hold the grit and determination he showed in their fight in high regards, something that he does not see in Goku, much to his disappointment. In the final hours of his lifespan, Gas was still unaware that his power was destroying his body, and even ignored self-preservation entirely, willing to fly into energy blasts to accomplish his goals of victory. It was only after overhearing Elec's claim that Gas' lifespan was running out that he stopped fighting, shocked by the revelation that he was dying, his loyalty dwindling. Upon Frieza's arrival, this shock faded as he remembered his older brother's goal to kill Frieza, still determined to follow the Heater's plan, which ultimately cost him his life. Synopsis The Heater Force Gas was an alien who belonged to a family called the Heaters, which consisted of himself, his elder brother Elec, his sister Maki, and his brother Oil. Gas was the stoic enforcer of the family who prided himself on his martial skills. Under Elec's leadership, the Heaters ran the Heater Force, an intel-broking organization that worked closely with the Galactic Frisia army to wipe out a planet's inhabitants and sell it to the highest bidder. The ultimate goal of the Heaters, however, was to one day usurp control of the Frisia army from its leader Emperor Frisia and use it to rule the universe. Bardock, father of Goku On one occasion, Gas and his Heater siblings visited the planet Serial after Frisia's Scion army decimated the Serialian and Namekian populations of the planet. By that point, the Heaters had already planned to sell the planet to a race called the Sigarians and intended to build cities on Serial for them to inhabit. As they overlooked a destroyed city, the Heaters discussed their future plans to one day overthrow Frisia. Suddenly, they heard a commotion and followed it where they found a cloaked Scion soldier threatening an elderly Namekian, a Serialian woman, and the woman's young child. The Scion reported that the Namekian had used a strange power, and as such should be spared. 
Elek agreed to the science idea before pulling out a blaster and personally shooting the Serialian woman dead. Without warning the Scion fired a powerful energy blast at the heaters which Gas was able to intercept with an energy barrier that protected his family. When the dust settled, the Scion soldier, the Namikian, and the Serialian boy were all missing. Suspecting that the Scion had overheard their conversation, Elec ordered Gas to track down and kill all three of the witnesses. Granola the Survivor Several years after the incident on Planet Serial, the heaters learned that the Namikian elder and the Serialian boy had survived. The boy, named Granola, was making a name for himself as a bounty hunter despite his young age. Gas visited Granola and the elder, Moneido, alongside Elec, rather than killing the pair, however, Elec offered to hire Granola as a long-term bounty hunter. Granola, who had never been told the truth of how his mother died, agreed to work for the heaters. Over time, Gas began to despise Granola as he believed the Serialian services weren't needed because he was stronger than him. Over 20 years after the genocide of the Serialians, Emperor Frisia was killed and the Galactic Frisia army began to fragment. Return of the Emperor Fourteen years after Frisia's death, the Emperor was resurrected and subsequently returned as the head of his Galactic army. In the period of instability that followed, the Heaters decided to track down the nigh-omniscient alien named Lord Zuno so that they could gain any information they wanted. In order to find Zuno's planet, the Heaters placed a bounty on the decommissioned android OG-73 I whose memory banks contained its location. Granola was the bounty hunter who eventually retrieved OG-73 I and brought it back to the Heaters' base. Elec informed Granola that Frisia had returned, a fact that infuriated the Serialian as he believed the Emperor was the sole reason for the genocide of his race. Granola got close to Elec and demanded to know where Frisia was, which prompted Gas to subdue him. Elec promised Granola that they would eventually make a move on Frisia, although they would need to bide their time. Once Granola left, the Heater siblings discussed the possibility of him going rogue and the threat it could pose to them if he were to surpass Gas in strength. Gas and his siblings later viewed OG 73 I's memory banks and discovered the location of Zuno's planet. They also learned of Dragon Balls, sets of wish orbs on several planets that could summon an eternal dragon who could grant almost any wish. Dragon Balls were created and maintained by Namekians. They also learned of a conflict between an incredibly dangerous wizard named Planet Eater Moro and the two scions who defeated him, Sun Goku and Vegeta for Earth. The Strongest Warrior in the Universe some time later, Gas and the Heaters were watching a performance in their headquarters when Granola burst in demanding to know Frisia's location. The Serialian claimed he had become the strongest warrior in the universe, although Elec ignored him and ordered Oil to throw him out. To everyone's astonishment, Granola was able to easily defeat Oil. Mackie stepped in to continue the fight, yet she too stood no chance against Granola. Just when Gas planned to battle the Serialian, Elec ordered everyone to stand down. Granola revealed to the Heaters that he had used Dragon Balls on Planet Serial to become the strongest warrior in the universe, although the magnitude of the wish cost him 150 years of his 200-year lifespan. Elec promised to tell Granola where Frisia was once they learned the tyrant's location, which appeased the Serialian enough to make him leave. As they sat down for dinner later, the Heaters discussed what they should do about Granola. Elec suggested finding a way to make the Scions Goku and Vegeta battle Granola, as he believed they'd be able to take down Granola. Elec sent Whale and Mackie to collect the science and ask Zuno questions about how best to go about their plans. Thanks in part to Zuno's answers and Mackie's own ingenuity, Whale and Mackie were able to lure Goku and Vegeta to Planet Serial and trick them into fighting Granola. As Granola and the science wore each other out in a titanic battle, Gas arrived on Serial with Elec. Alongside Mackie and Elec, Gas began searching for Serial's two Dragon Balls so that they could wish for Gas to become the strongest. After finding the first one however, the Heaters received word from Whale that Granola and the Scions had stopped fighting due to Minato's interference. Gaz and Mackie flew off in the direction of the battlefield, hoping to buy Elec time to make the wish. Battle of the Strongest As Gas made his way over to Granola and the Scions with Mackie, Elec managed to find the second Dragon Ball and use it to make Gas the greatest warrior in the universe. Upon reaching the battlefield, Mackie and Oil dramatically introduced Gas as the strongest fighter in the universe to Granola, Goku and Vegeta. Wasting no time, Gas fired a powerful laser beam into the ground that narrowly missed its targets, but bisected Granola's ship. He then summoned energy constructs and used them to pin down Goku and Granola, at which point he recognized the former as the son of his old enemy Bardock. Before Gas could execute Goku with an energy battle axe, Granola broke free and fired a blast into his back. Gas, who was eager to battle his rival, summoned an energy mace and used it to repeatedly pummel Granola, who was already exhausted due to his fight with Goku and Vegeta. 
The Syrian refused to give up, yet it was all in vain as gas still easily overpowered him and incapacitated him with an energy blast. Goku then stepped in between gas and granola, which prompted the heater to attack the scion with an energy blade. Goku shattered the blade and proceeded to go on the offensive, although Gas easily blocked every attack with a handheld energy shield. Gas then went on the offensive, attacking his opponent with a variety of weapons including an oversized mallet and a weighted rope. After a while of beating Goku around, Gas was confronted by Granola who had returned to the battlefield with his energy restored and his wounds healed. Gas turned his attention to the full power Granola, and the pair began a tense duel where both combatants were fairly evenly matched despite Gas's wish. Gas tried a variety of tricks related to his energy construct creation, yet Granola was able to counter or avoid them all. Surprisingly, Granola began to dominate because Gas was refusing to use any of the new techniques he had gained from LX Wish, due to his pride as a warrior. Eventually however, Gas realized the fight wouldn't end in his favor if he continued to fight back using only the techniques he had already possessed and so decided to employ his new powers. By using his newly acquired Hakai and instant transmission techniques, Gas was able to briefly gain the upper hand. But in spite of that, Granola's greater familiarity with the techniques Gas was using allowed him to quickly regain his advantage. Granola's use of instant transmission continued to get the better of Gas, whose frustration rose as he took blow after blow without being able to properly retaliate. Eventually however, the heater was able to recognize the pattern to Granola's attacks and briefly gain the upper hand until the Serialian began employing a cloning technique to attack him from multiple directions. Using energy beams, Gas skewered every Granola clone. However, the real Granola teleported directly in front of Gas and unleashed a powerful energy blast at point-blank range which sent the heater crashing through a mountain and into a lake. Gas, who had been knocked unconsciousness by the blast, was fished out of the water by Oil and Mackie. Elec arrived on the scene and removed Gas's headband, unlocking his instinct state for the first time in 40 years. Naturally, Gas's body swelled with barely contained energy and his mind regressed. Bursting into the sky, Gas immediately flew towards Granola and began ruthlessly battering him until his attention was diverted by Mackie and Oil, who both urged him to return to his senses. Gas attacked his two siblings and then began repeatedly bashing his head against a rock. Flying off once again, Gas attacked the unsuspecting Vegeta until Goku intervened to help his fellow Scion. Upon seeing Goku, Gas had a flashback to his defeat at the hands of Bardock which caused him to briefly lose focus, allowing the Scion to hit him into a rock. Elek called out to him and reminded of his promise to never lose again, which began to rack his mind, Gas's mind and energy control slowly began to return to their normal state. Gas had unlocked a new form, just as Elek had intended, one which combined the power increase of his instinct state with the clarity of his normal state. With further coaxing and manipulation from his older brother, Gas managed to regain control over his mind and powers, regaining his first stage transformation in the process. Elek noted that now Gas had truly become the strongest warrior in Universe 7. In this awakened state, Gas was able to cripple Granola and then handle Goku who was using Autonomous Ultra Instinct and Perfect Super Saiyan Blue with little effort, while also using the fight to test out his new powers. Likewise, he could fly across deep space at extreme speeds that surpassed that of spaceships, crossing from a faraway planet to planet Serial in a matter of roughly 20 minutes. After Goku and Vegeta were healed by Monaito, they teamed up against Gas with a new resolve to focus entirely on victory as Bardock had. Despite both using perfected Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego respectively, Gas still held the upper hand against the two, overwhelming the duo even when both worked in tandem to finish him with Vegeta's Beerus Ball. Elek believes this is due to the fact that Gas was granted his power after the Scions acquired their most powerful forms. When Vegeta continued the fight alone, Gas continued to hold the edge at first. But as the fight continued, the scales tipped in the Prince's favor due to Ultra Ego converting the massive damage he took into additional strength. Eventually Vegeta grew strong enough to make the heater recoil in fear at the prince's failed last attack as the latter collapsed from the injuries taken. When facing Goku once more, who had opted for true ultra instinct, Gas struggled against Goku, with the scion noting that at this point he held a slight edge against Gas. However, upon a second intervention from Elec, who proceeded to verbally abuse and manipulate Gas, the younger heater procked to tap into his new power further, causing him to assume an elder, decrepit form. In this new form, despite his much older and somewhat frail look, Gas' strength, speed, skill and reflexes are further augmented. He proceeds to overwhelm Goku's empowered sign form with a variety of new and improved abilities and nearly finish him, before Granola interrupted the fight with a surprise attack. It would take the combined efforts of Goku and Vegeta to slow Gas down long for the weakened Serialian to shot Gas down with a charged key blast. Despite their combined efforts, Gas managed to withstand Granola's final attack, though his body had further deteriorated as a result. 
Gas is capable of fighting against both Goku's empowered sign form and Vegeta's ultra ego, yet due to his shortening lifespan, Goku and Vegeta perform better than before. Vegeta's punch is capable of ripping off part of Gas' face, and a single kick from Goku breaks the heater's arm and his flesh. As Frieza arrived, Gas bulks up his body and attempts to kill Frieza, but the Emperor easily kills Gas with a single punch. It was then revealed that Frieza was exempt as a factor from Gas Wish, due to being in a separate dimension at the time and likewise drastically increases might from 10 years worth of training in the said dimension. Statements by Guidebooks and Authors Prior to LX Wish to Taranbo, Gas' strength surpassed the likes of Nappa and the Jinya Force and was about on par with ABO and Kato from Dragon Ball, the return of Son Goku and friends. Powers and Abilities Powers Key manipulation, Gas, like the rest of his family, was capable of drawing out and manipulating his own supply of ki, which was a type of natural energy that resided within all life forms. The manipulation of his own ki allowed Gas to perform numerous supernatural feats, making him a far greater combatant than he would be otherwise. As the strongest member of the heaters, Gas possessed more ki to draw upon than his siblings and was more knowledgeable in its use. After becoming the strongest warrior in the universe, Gas's already impressive strength was increased drastically, and he naturally inherited a plethora of new key techniques. Energy manipulation, a fairly common capability among key practitioners was the ability to draw out their key and convert it into destructive plasma energy that they could wield against their opponents. Using his energy in such a way, Gas was able to fire bolts of explosive plasma as projectiles and could even create concentrated beams by focusing his key through a single finger. He could also use his key to create barriers made out of pure energy which could protect himself and his allies from the key attacks of his opponents. After having his potential fully unlocked, Gas was capable of far greater energy-based techniques. Destruction, among the myriad key powers Gas gained after LX Wish, was the Hakai technique. Usually only employed by the divine gods of destruction and their pupils, Hakai allowed its user to employ the energy of destruction to completely destroy an object or being on an atomic level, to the point that it would simply cease to be. Hakai could even destroy ghosts or spirits, although immortal beings couldn't be destroyed. Energy Construct Creation, Gas's signature key technique, which he personally developed, was the ability to use his key to create a variety of weapons and constructs out of pure energy. Weapons created in such a way included a battle axe, a morning star, throwable kunai, handheld shields, an oversized mallet, a spear, claws, swords, and claymores. He could also create less conventional tools such as energy cubes, which could envelop an opponent to restrain them. Like with all of his original skills, Gas's construct creation technique grew in power after his potential was unlocked. Flight, a common practice among key users such as Gas, was the ability to fly completely unaided. Instant transmission, after having his potential unlocked by LX Dragon Ball Wish, Gas gained the instant transmission technique. As the name implied, instant transmission allowed its user to instantly teleport to an individual or location by locking onto its key signature. Despite being able to use it in quick succession and in close range to lock onto and rapidly maneuver around an opponent, Gas was considered a sluggish user of the technique. Matter Materialization By using his key, Gas was able to create physical matter out of thin air in order to materialize whatever inorganic object he could imagine. Forms and Transformations Awakened State Gas is capable of unleashing his instincts to take on his awakened state, however due to losing control of it and transforming into the berserk instinct's unleashed state, Gas lost the ability to use this form for decades. This form is a slightly more muscular version of his base state but with horns, which initially uses a portion of this state's full power, however upon regaining the form Gas became able to access the power in full. Gas regained this state upon facing Bardock's likeness in Goku and hearing his brother's words of encouragement, Gas underwent an awakening, finally able to control his true unleashed power, regaining his self-awareness and emotional control and regaining the ability to use the form without going berserk. Instincts Unleashed State Gas is capable of transforming into the instincts unleashed state, when Gas loses control of this power, he immediately takes on the full extent of this power and transforms into a berserker. It causes his muscle mass to grow tremendously, his eyes to go blank, his incisors to become fangs, and horns to grow hanging downward from his temples. In this state, he becomes a rampaging brute who cannot discern friend from foe. Two levels of this state appear, even just this portion of power is difficult to control and so when Gas completely lost control in battle with Bardock 41 years ago, he lost control of this power from then on and had to wear a restraint to avoid unleashing it. Dragon Ball Enhanced Thanks to LX Wish to Taranbo, Gas took on a Dragon Ball Enhanced state, instantly transforming into the most powerful warrior in Universe 7. As a result of the wish making him fully developed rather than enhanced, Gas appears much adult-like, becoming considerably taller and muscular with a more mature face. 
In this state, he surpasses the likes of Granola, Vegeta, and Goku. In just his base state, his power and abilities are comparable to Granola's full power state. Aging State By stealing his resolve and unleashing everything, Gas takes on a new form, an aging stat in this state Gas' physical appearance becomes decrepit with a skinnier body and sunken skin but becomes far more powerful. Gas burns through his body cells like fuel in this state, which is the reason for the drastic increase in power alongside the decrease in physical health. Goku notes that it leaves his power and body completely out of sync with each other. However, the feeling of doing this keeps Gas in a state of ecstasy rather than pain. It is later revealed the form was a side effect of the earlier wish to the Serialian Dragon Balls for Gas to become the strongest being in existence due to the life-shortening nature of the wish. When he rematches Goku and Vegeta, the form was taking a significant toll on him, warping his appearance even more to the extent he appeared and acted zombie-like, with his only realizing what he had become after both Maki yelled it out to him in a desperate attempt to save him as well as catching a glimpse of his reflection in the river. Another benefit to this form is also revealed, no matter the damage gas takes he can keep on fighting, even being able to move and punch using a broken arm. Upon facing off with Frieza, gas proved able to power up even further in this state, becoming as bulky as he had previously in his berserk form. However, despite this he was still killed in a single blow by Black Frieza and turned to dust. If you want to support me check out my Patreon at https colon slash slash www.patreon.com slash kyashin. I tend to polls that decide important plot stuff in my P at Trian. Many thanks to my awesome patrons, Ben Phillips. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.